Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Crystal Healing. I am your host, Crystal Heal. I'm back with you for a part two of Peep Game. Uh, and on this Peep Game episode, we have Young Pharaoh. Um, as usual with these videos, we're going to peep the body language. We're going to listen to what is being said. Uh, we're going to discuss the implications of what is being said, and we're going to dig any and everything out of these videos that we can in order to gain ourselves some wisdom that we can take back with us into our lives, apply it, and thereby avoid the pitfalls of the predator. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into the video uh, that we were looking at at the end of part two and see what we can get. None of you motherfuckers on the internet. I love being here. But hypothetically speaking here, nigga, I would have been like, she fell down some stairs. I ain't do that shit. Nigga, you better he ain't even trying to save. He he wasn't he was trying to save his vagina. He wasn't even trying to save his image. Hey, now he this nigga didn't this nigga didn't come on the internet one time and deny any of his evil evil act uh activities. He didn't come on here and deny hiking up prices on shit he buying offline that he telling y'all he get from the jungle. Never denied that. And the nigga never denied being a woman beater. Only thing the nigga did was try to get y'all to accept his new little mistress that he turned into his wife. Okay? That's it. By saying I wasn't married to her. What, that, what you talking about? Just because you're not married to her, does that make it right for what you put her through? I'm not married to her, so it don't matter if I bust her fucking head to the white meat with a dumbbell and if I was a motherfucking cheater. I wasn't married to her, bitch. Even if you really wasn't married to her, which you, which you were, does that make it right? So, and then this nigga posting a new chick on his Facebook. Nigga, don't nobody give a fuck about her. No disrespect to her. I don't know her personally. I'm not shooting at her. But no, this is, we don't give a fuck about her. We, we here for your herbal product. Why you post to her? Because you trying to justify your relationship with her because you know it wasn't started on a, on a proper basis. And so you trying to convince your audience to accept her because righteously and justly so, they don't have to. They don't have to. Don't play with me today. Don't play with me today. Oh, I got time today. I'm on the internet all day today. Oh, I got time today, cuz. Today I got time, niggas. Niggas still in my teachings and motherfucking busting, busting women head open. Huh? You putting your hands on women like you G real. Like you G real. Huh? Trying to ask me about my flag and G check my flag like you G real. See, I back last week I didn't have time. But today I got time, cuz. You disrespect my hood by telling me. Take off my flag asking how gangster I was, nigga. You lucky on that day I was acting cool, cuz. I told you I ain't got time for that, but nigga, today I got time, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the internet all day. I'm on the internet all day. Let's see, I might, I'm... Platform turned against him. Made that nigga whole platform jump shit. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers is coming from his little weak ass Facebook page, running to my Facebook page, talking shit. And then they went to that YouTube video, they was right back over there like, yo, I don't know. <laughs> What's the name of that mean? That, that uh, <laughs> I, I would continue on with this one, but I'm not. I'm going to just, uh, let me just flip, flip over here just a little bit. See what's down the road. Oh, okay. So, so I knew it was something. Something must be 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 down here. Something made me say, just go a little bit further. That, okay. So, tell us again, young Pharaoh. Instagram post talking about you wasn't married because you try to justify your motherfucking false nigga. You's a bozo. But my thing is, I don't play that. I don't play that putting your hands on women shit. And the lie detector test determined that that is a lie. Nigga, see everybody. How do I know? Okay, I'm gonna tell you how. Why I formulated the opinion that I've uh, uh, formulated. For you who do not know, there was there was an altercation between Golden Beauty 
and young Pharaoh, where Pharaoh said that, uh, excuse me, Golden Beauty said that, well, you know what, fuck it, let's just go to the clip. Let's just go to the clip. That's what we gonna do. So anyway, let's go back to uh, what the fuck I was saying. To say his vagina, he wasn't even trying to say his image. Hey, now he doesn't. You out here beating on these women? You don't. You and you won't even respond to me. I'm not saying boss up and start no physical beef, but what I'm saying is. Nigga, you won't even you won't even curse at me. And I'm sitting here directly calling you a bitch ass nigga, like I'm calling you one now. And so this is why I said I know he's a hoe. He's a hoe. And this nigga done let the internet fame blow his head up. He done fucked his whole life up. Running around with the little, you know, groupies he got all his comments. And then motherfucking you your silly stupid ass, you didn't fucking got caught scamming and your wife didn't motherfucking sent the wrong nigga. She sent the right nigga, excuse me, the right nigga them receipts. And bitch, we cashed the check on your bitch ass. Matter of fact, let me motherfucking play the video because I'm wasn't done. Because he said he wasn't married, right? Let's rewind that. J j just for, uh, uh, what's the word I want to use here? I, I just really want this shit to sit in. Boss up and start no physical beef. But what I'm saying is... Let's go back you know, some Fuck that. And being abusive. And you chasing motherfuckers out of the house calling the motherfuckers ugly black bitches, right? Why she gotta be an ugly black bitch? Why, huh? Why she gotta be that? But now here's the point. Now, when you get a nigga like me, okay? And I'm, I'm pulling up on you, nigga. Like Birdman. And I pull up on you. I done called you all kind of pussies, bitches... I done called you all kind of names. Straight up, I'm calling you names now. Now, now you want to be super mature. Now you, now you don't want to boss up. Now you on your, now you on your Facebook talking about, oh, I don't, I don't have to get out of kid. Now you want to be super mature. And then y'all don't even know, I jumped in that nigga comments yesterday. I pull up on the nigga. See, I pull up on your Instagram. I ain't got to. Right, right. And that's basically what I'm saying. I pull up on you. Now y'all seen the 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 you seen Golden Beauty with the baby and shit out there, and apparently there was a whole um, motherfucking entourage of people. Somebody named Brittany out there. I think the white nanny might have was out there. I don't fucking know, but it was clearly people who witnessed this shit. Oh, oh, that's what I was saying, y'all. <laughs> Uh, Y'all gotta keep me on track. The reason why I think that this nigga really did this shit is because it was supposedly being filmed. He even said himself that somebody, I think the white nanny was filming the shit. Or that girl that was out there named Brittany was filming the shit. Golden Beauty was, was starting to film him. Apparently she said he was acting up or whatever. So she started to film him, but she he broke her phone. But one of them other people there was filming the shit. He even said he got it on film. But you notice he never dropped he never dropped that video though. Why he didn't drop that video? Cause if he dropped the video showing uh how she was acting a complete fucking fool, I mean he can't say that he don't drop videos like that because he got all kind of text messages and shit he be showing that's supposed to be private between them two. You know what I'm saying? Be calling people up. Uh, uh, and putting that shit on live on 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 the internet, so 
if you got the video of the altercation and you wasn't dragging her out by her hair and punching her all in the fucking face because she fucked up your statues, why we ain't seen that shit yet? Hmm? 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 Why you ain't dropped that shit yet if you innocent, huh? I'm just asking, you know, for a friend. So as far as I'm concerned, this nigga guilty, bro. Peep game. Peep motherfucking game. Now, let's see. Door, duck down hiding from him, and my husband brought her in through the garbage. Okay? Let me keep reading. My husband brought her in through the garbage. She was screaming and crying, and it scared my autistic daughter, as we are also domestic violence survivors. Now that I am truly learning all this disturbing stuff about him and her, should I be concerned because we literally live next door? My daughter goes outside alone to walk her dog, and I don't escort her back to the house. Blooming or what? Okay, y'all see the date. He beat that ass around March 5th. She posted it. Well, this, this is from March 9th, but she posted these around March 5th. Hold on, y'all. Just bear with me. Okay? Because I don't want certain shit showing. But first, I'm hunting rabbits. Shh. I'm hunting the motherfucking rabbits. Watch this. Listen. This her. This shorty. Now listen to her say yada. Listen. Way before even I met yada. You heard that? Way before even I met yada. Let me run it back one more time. Hold up. Let me turn the volume up on this bitch. Wait a minute. This is not... Uh-uh. Turn this bitch up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me see something. Hold on. Wait for it. There we go. Turn this turn this bitch all the way up. Crank this bitch to the finish line. Here we go. Hold on. Let me turn this volume all the way the fuck up. Because I'm not about to play with this shit. Hold up. Here we go. Let me turn the volume up. This shit got to get louder. We're not going to play these games today. We, we, we exposing niggas. Spose these niggas, spose these niggas, spose. I don't want anybody saying, how you know that's her? She just kept her beating him, beating her ass with the baby, okay? So he sends her over there. Mind you, she, she still, she still, she, you see, she still got the baby in her hand. Now watch the neighbor tell, she tried to tell the neighbor, the neighbor's not being mature. The neighbor like, how? Now, th this is what I'm saying right here. This is my whole point of showing this clip right here. It's damn near like the same story. Y'all to beat the beat beat old girl, supposedly allegedly, with the baby in her fucking hand. And that's I mean, it even even in the video, it looked very fucking similar to me. With Golden holding the baby and shit, all 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 in the tizzy and shit. And y'all the old lady. I'm not being mature. You the one ran over here. Watch this. Here we go. Watch. <laughs> Pause. Let me turn it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Here we go. Um, but how easy it nowadays is to look up someone's legal name and find out where their address. I'm not talking about you saying I'm not my neighbor. I'm not posting If you're saying she's my neighbor, That's and you're coming from an understanding mother perspective, saying that you know. Now look. Y'all supposedly beat the old lady, and she ran to the to the neighbor's house with the baby. Unless you say sorry, you're not getting your stuff. 
I don't need to say sorry because I didn't do shit. And that's what it. Oh, that's what's crazy because he really in his mind thinks that people need to bow down and fucking worship him or something or like he's fucking God or something. Um, he. Fu- and you see, this is what I'm talking about is the fucked up mentality. It's one thing when you believe you're God. I, uh, y'all know I don't have no problems with that ideology because I do believe that all of us are a, a, uh, an aspect of God. And so you can come into the knowledge where you actually can be a God. But the problem I have with that is the humility and not recognizing that everyone else has that potential as well to come into the knowledge of who they truly are, which is an aspect of God. And so when you want other people to bow down and worship you, then that, that's, that's the opposite. That's more of the ideology of a devil. You understand what I'm saying? When you come to that knowledge without also realizing that uh, uh, the other the other players, the other people here are also aspects of God, not not your servants, not your slaves, not people that should bow down and worship you, but brothers and sisters on the same leveled playing field. Now some people are more conscious of who they truly are, of their higher self than others, but that does not negate the fact that at the end of the day, it's one love, it's one God, one spirit that we've all been baptized into. Period. One spirit that animates all of reality, you, me, everything, everyone. So this worship, worship these niggas like gods and shit, I'm, I'm just, I'm not with it. And this, this is why, this is why. Oh, that's what's crazy because he really in his mind thinks that people need to bow down and fucking worship him or something or like he's fucking God or something. Um, he fucking broke my phone. Literally, my phone is right here. Where's my fucking phone? Now, he drug her out of her house because he said he bought that house for her. Ironically, though, uh, she can't go back in it until she she fucking apologize and until she she want to she wants to worship him and and listen and be submissive and all these other fucking rules and motherfucking regulations. When in reality, if he was really a man who was about righteousness, she would be living in that house with the children instead of being running, running from fucking pillar to post while he up there. With all these extra motherfuckers. Come on now. Let's be real. I'm trying to say, oh, you're being racist to the white nanny because, like, like he give a fuck, like he didn't start his whole career off being fucking racist and, and calling people cracker and stuff. He got mad because I called the, the, the nanny a cracker or whatever the case may be because he's over here trying to tell me, oh, I called Chelsea over here to, to help me with the kids after I told him 50 times to not allow this female around my fucking kids and he fucking dragged me by my damn hair, punched me and kicked me dead in the face, punched me dead in the jaw, literally almost fucking knocked me out. And the, the witch called right here, the police is right here. <laughs> and talking about oh I have everything on video like he didn't fucking record him literally fucking beating my ass that's what's crazy okay so there is a video this nigga team this nigga squad his flunkies or whatever the fuck they are his yes men in the background instead of watching this nigga drag this woman this queen out of her motherfucking house, so-called, they all sit back riding this nigga dick. Why? What kind of shit? What the fuck? <laughs> show us the video, bruh. Huh? Hashtag show us the video. <laughs> it's never thinking about that. And, um, Shorty has a restraining order now, and you're going to have one. So, 
Um. So this the video after, okay, this altercation. This nigga gets online and puts his shit online. Now he do just like Nature Boy. He put all his motherfucking business online, but then want to wonder why everybody all in his motherfucking business. Hmm? 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 Secondly, peep game. Nigga talking about shorty got a, uh, a fucking restraining order. Nigga. The lie detector test determined that shit is a lie. You cannot get a fucking restraining order that motherfucking fast. Even if this nigga threw on a t-shirt and ran down to the motherfucking courthouse. She got to be served and all that shit. The police officers don't, just don't ride around with motherfucking restraining order paperwork in the car. How the fuck she got a restraining order on her that fast? Stop it, bruh. Stop. Stop. Hmm? As I was saying before somebody came in here and woke the fucking kids up, as y'all seen me put the fucking kids to sleep on this video, literally all this shit happened in the space of me shooting this video, okay, and woke these fucking kids up and trying to do police go to jail setup shit, line you up to go to jail shit. So I just want to let y'all know, uh, before I finish these text messages, all right, I am not alone over here. Don't worry about who's over here. Though. I'm not alone over here. Okay, everybody see see what the fuck is going on and who's doing what with their character, but I want to say this. If you are a black woman, you can... Here we go with generalizations again. If you are a black woman. Okay, okay, what? Weaponize the fucking kids or provoke niggas as if you want to fight because you cannot emotionally control yourself. It's that simple. You cannot do that. You cannot start beefs with people because you're upset it does not work like that and you cannot play police games okay you can't come into somebody's house if they actually do not come to fuck in come in anyway refuse to leave after being asked 50 000. but you quick to say you bought the shit for her though the house for her okay so we can stop with that lie we see that's a lie right yeah or nah yeah or nah Go to the beginning of this video. I want to show y'all something. Right? I know a lot of y'all say, we can be tired of hearing about your personal life and blah, blah, blah. I'm tired of hearing about my personal life. I ain't the one who put it on the internet. But he ain't the one put it on the internet. Really? Okay. You feel me? I know that stories help people out and inspire people and give people strength to get through their situations so i just want to show y'all what i'm going through right now as a black man who has tried nothing but to help this weak ass community that i'm from right right so y'all some y'all the weak ass community and how does he know that his community of supporters are some weak ass motherfuckers i'll tell you how i'm glad you asked because y'all fucking supporting his ass. And he know, he know, y'all don't really do no research. Pretty much you could tell y'all anything. And by y'all, I mean his supporters. He could tell y'all anything. And y'all y'all pretty much just go for it. You just fucking go for it. So, yeah. So, I just want to show y'all what I'm going through right now as a black man who has tried nothing but this help this weak ass community that I'm from, right? I wanna show y'all what I'm going through. With evil, you feel me? That's why I tell you I'm pro-righteous, I'm not pro-black. Cause I see what it is out here, right? And it's just a black woman, right? Yeah, yeah, because, cause the, the, you know, he not pro, pro-black, pro he's pro-righteous. Cause he know what it is. What is it? Playing these type of mind games, right? You don't want no structure. You don't want me to create no structure. Every time I try to create structure, you try to tear it down or you try to kick the rug from under me, right? I can't work. Whenever I try to work, you throw the kids on me so I can't be productive. Then when I tell you, give me a minute. This nigga say, every time I try to work, you throw the kids on me. Now, how often you seen him with the kids in the last two months? Every time he try to work, why is it the only time you trying to work is when you got the kids? That once every two fucking months shit. Huh? So don't don't overgeneralize like you always got the motherfucking kids. Matter of fact, I think it's the opposite. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that Golden Beauty actually has the kids all the fucking time. I mean, I offered to get her a nanny. But she's the one who keeps the kids. 
She's the primary parent. She's the one who's got to go take a shit with a baby on her motherfucking hip. Not you, nigga. You are here living it up. Right? Right or wrong? Right or wrong? So don't don't try to paint that narrative, bro. Ain't nobody stupid. You try to tear it down or you try to kick the rug from under me, right? I can't work. Whenever I try to work, you throw the kids on me so I can't be productive. Then when I tell you, give me a minute, let me have a, you know, from 7 in the morning to 3.30 p.m., those are my work times. Now it's I don't want to watch my kids and I'm a bad dad. But as y'all can see, when I'm watching my kids by myself, I can't get no work done. I can't hire a nanny. Anything I do is disrespectful, disloyal. I'm a bitch. She, first of all, don't paint that narrative. She didn't say you couldn't hire a nanny. She don't want that particular motherfucking nanny. Why is it so hard for you to just get rid of that nanny? That, 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 that shit don't seem a little sus to you? Is she the only motherfucking nanny in Houston, Texas or some shit? Let a nigga know. Because I'm confused over here. Is she the only motherfucking nanny in Houston, Texas? Hmm. I'm asking. Just asking. For a friend. Anything I do is I'm getting attacked, right? But just the type of shit they can say to me, right? Okay. Right? I said, it's crazy. I said, it's not crazy. No, no, she called me crazy. Right? No, this, she called me crazy. My thing is this. I don't mind watching the kids. I want to watch my kids. Let's just structure it so I can have a nanny help me when I watch them so I can work because I work during the day. Right? Not a nanny. This particular nanny. Now, how uber disrespectful is that shit? The girl say she don't want that woman that she been beefing with around her motherfucking children. Bruh, why can't you just respect that shit? That shit makes sense to me. How come it don't make sense to you, Mr. Pro-Righteous? Cool. She called me crazy. Now, she's always calling me crazy. And I'm tired of people trying to abuse you that behind closed doors. And they cause you crazy, crazy when you speak up for yourself. So now it's a wrap for that shit. And that seemed like the shit he been doing. Abusing her behind closed doors and then calling her crazy and talking about he tired of his baby moms and shit just because the girl want to speak up for herself. He trying to put out the narrative that she the one putting all their business out online when in reality he the one was throwing subliminal motherfucking Instagram posts and shit. He the one with the million motherfucking followers and shit. So the videos that he put out really is what exposed this shit, not hers. Come on now. She... Whatever. We go ham on everybody. So Shorty said, okay, y'all, cool. I'm going to be quick. Brittany's helping me with the baby real quick. I don't want to hold the baby for this. All right. So cool. Let me read to y'all what's being said to me because I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm tired of people thinking that you're supposed to deal with abuse behind closed doors. And it's okay or you're not supposed to say nothing because they're allegedly family or you know them. Fuck that, man. Fuck that. And I'm going to let y'all know I will be recording this shit when she come to pick these kids up. And, um, right, so can we get that recording? Can we get that recording? We're going to make this go as smoothly as possible, but I'm not going for no disrespect. Or I'm not going for nobody. Yeah, we seen that how you're not going for no disrespect. We see what you do when she disrespects you. Mm -hmm. Violate me. I don't fuck with nobody talking about. We can do an on or off camera. I'm not going for no disrespect. Y'all got me fucked up. Uh, you see? So this nigga was, this nigga was already on 10 before she even got there. He was already ready. He was already feeling some type of way. Okay. Let me let me read y'all these messages real quick, right? I want to show y'all the type of shit women do. Right? The type of shit women do. Generalizing she again. Lying. Then when she get caught lying, she keep trying to play mind games. You act like I'm crazy or I'm delusional. No, bitch. It's you. Now, people gang, she, she said, there you go, crazy. Why she got to be a bitch, though? Right, so you're calling me crazy? I said, it's not crazy. It's just the fact you throwing the kids at me. You don't want me to... The next time you call me crazy, you are banned from my life and you are not coming back in my house. Now, I know y'all done noticed the shit. I noticed y'all done peep game how he always throwing finances and money over her head. I do this. I do. I take care of this. I bought her this. I, I bought her the house. But here we see it says in my house. Hmm, interesting. Get help with the kids, and then the next time you call me crazy, I told you the next time you call me crazy, you are banned from my life, and you are not coming back to my house. 
She said, I'm not throwing anything at your kids. Let me go back. And she, she said, see, she said in the text message, it's not the fact that she don't want uh, uh, nobody helping him with the kids. He said, get the assistant to help. She just don't want this chick named Chelsea. Those are your kids and ask your assistant for help, right? Now she's talking about to ask my assistant for help, but this is the main person talking about she don't want me having no other female around my kids. Now, she's talking about you better not have Chelsea around my kids. I'm not playing, but I need help. I don't have any help with the kids and I need to work and you won't let me get help, okay? You don't want no female around, but I trust Chelsea, right? So now she, she said, if you disrespect me and have somebody around my kids, I ask you not not to, it's gonna be an issue, fit, right? So I said, I have to work. You can come back and do that later. You know what I'm saying? Everyone is fine. Now she said, I don't disrespect her. I'm like, I'm not disrespecting you. She's like, like I, like I said, don't have this girl around my kids. Your lack of loyalty and, and respect is ridiculous. I said, you're the one starting shit with everybody. She said, will start shit with everybody. I don't want to miss seeing her. I don't want her seeing I'm at all. I said, we disagree. She's my disloyal as fuck. You can see she's constantly the aggressor. Mm -hmm. I don't disrespect her. I'm not to. It's going to be an issue. Fit, right? Female around, but I trust Chelsea, right? So now she, she said, if you disrespect You trust Chelsea, nigga. She don't trust Chelsea. It's clear they beefing. This Chelsea chick been talking about sitting around the round table with you, kicking and laughing and talking about her. I wouldn't want no bitch like that around my motherfucking children neither. You feel what I'm saying? You sound stupid. You sound like a bozo, bruh. You trust Chelsea. Well, good for you. Would you want a fucking, uh, a fucking cool point, a, a, a doggy biscuit or some shit? Hold on. I'm trying to get to this part right here. With this little nasty girl. No, bitch. It's you. Now, Pip Game, she, uh, she said, there Pip you game. go, crazy. <laughs> right? She's calling me crazy? <laughs> calling me crazy, you are banned from my life. And you are not. Now, she's talking about to ask my sister for help. But this is the main person about she don't want me having no other female around my kids. Now, she's talking about you better not have Chelsea around my kids. I'm not playing. But I need help. I don't have any help with the kids. And I need to work. And you won't let me get help. Okay. You don't want no female around, but I trust Chelsea, right? So now she, she said, if you disrespect me and have somebody around my kids, I ask you not not to. It's going to be an issue, fit, right? So I said, I have to work. You can come back and do that later. You know what I'm saying? Everyone is fine. Now she said, I don't disrespect her. I'm like, I'm not disrespecting you. She like, like I, like I said, don't have this girl around my kids. Your lack of loyalty and, and respect is ridiculous. I said, you're the one starting shit with everybody. She said, will start shit with everybody. I don't want to miss seeing her. I don't want her seeing I'm at all. I said, we disagree. She's my disloyal as fuck. You can see she's constantly the aggressor and want to play the victim. I said, I like Chelsea. Chelsea. I said, no, you're sneaky and you're a liar. She said, I don't care who you like. I asked you not to have nobody around my kids that I don't like. You are not my man. I don't need to lie to you. So I said, you better not be abusing my kids. So, okay, that's fine. Then don't come to my house. You feel me? And I'm like, what kind of shit is that to say? So she's like, I'm getting my stuff and that's bad. I'm not about to sit here and argue with you because you don't want to watch your kid. Now he skipped over the part. He edited the part where she said, you better not be molesting my kids. Now, do I think your favorite was a molester? No. But she put that because she knew what this nigga was going to do. Peep game. She knew this nigga was going to post all this shit on motherfucking uh, YouTube to try to make himself look uh, a certain type of way. To try to control the narrative. And so he typed, you better not be abusing my kids. Which he got from the white nanny. Okay. Whom this girl don't want around her motherfucking children. And I see why. But he got supposedly got that from the white nanny. So he gonna put you better not be abusing my kids as if she really is abusing the kids. So she put, and you better not be molesting my kids. Now, why did she put that? Like young Pharaoh will say, now, why is this important? Because I don't think she meant to say that he really is molesting the kids, but she just pulled some random ass shit out just like he fucking did. Because, oh, you if you're going to show this shit on the internet, you better not be abusing my kids. As if to say, look, y'all, I, uh, I, look, look, I told her not to be abusing my kids. So, Golden put that shit out in response. Like, okay, and don't be molesting my kids, neither. Since we just pulling shit out our ass. Don't come to my house. But he clipped that shit out real quick. You seen and that? I don't like, you are not my man. I don't need to lie to you. So I Look, you see it there? You better not be molesting my kids. You see? I said you better not be abusing my kids. 
So, okay, that's fine. Uh, don't come. To see how I clipped there? The guy, you clipped that shit out real quick. Nobody around my kids that I don't like. You are not my man. I don't need to lie to you. So I said, you better not be abusing my kids. So, okay, that's fine. Then don't come to my house. You feel me? And I'm like, what kind of shit is that to say? There's also a part on here where he reading through these comments where some some chick named Royal text message him while he doing this right here on live. And that bitch say some shit like, I want you to pull my hair and spit in my face and call me your cum rag or some shit like that. So this nigga out here just, just a sexual deviant. I'm getting my stuff and that's bad. I'm not about to sit here and argue. Blah, blah, blah. Moving on. Oh, and I'm so disappointed. I don't care. Who said that? So this is after the altercation. She talking about a girl saying you hit her. What's going on? I'm so disappointed. I don't care. Now notice he didn't say I didn't do that shit. I didn't fucking hit her. What the fuck? Oh, you just believe in her? And what? What does he say? I don't care. He not denying this shit. He say, I don't care. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, she want to act like a grown woman. You heard his little friend in the background? That's a fact. So that's the justification for putting your hands on her because she want to act like a grown woman. His friend didn't even say that shit didn't fucking happen. No, he say, well, it's because she wanted to act like a grown woman. She is a fucking grown woman. She taking care of your children by herself. Disappointed. I don't care. Who said that? Yeah, Yeah, that's a fact. But anyway, let me let me say let me say this though. Say in my video. Well, here, there's how that went. Okay, there's how that went. So, let me help y'all out. <laughs> now, this nigga feel proud of his motherfucking self. How do I know? He wasn't really that mad she broke up all the statues and shit. Because he knows exactly why she did the shit. He fucking provoked her. He out here putting on a show for all them fucking flunkies. He got in the house riding his goddamn dick. Let's be real, okay? Peep game on this shit. When the fuck have you ever known young Pharaoh to be this motherfucking calm? Huh? This calm. Look at the demeanor. Peep his fucking demeanor. And tell me this is a nigga who's upset. No, he's not upset. Because he wanted to do exactly what the fuck he did to make him... This nigga's a narcissist, bro. Just like all the fucking rest of them. You feel what I'm saying? Now, they all sitting around the round table. Ha, ha, ha. I show her ass. See that look? I don't care. Who said that? Yeah, that's a fact. But anyway, let me let me say let me say this though. Look how proud he is of himself. Well, here, there's how that went. Okay, there's how that went. So let me help y'all out. <laughs> let me pick y'all up where the fuck we left off at. So, Shorty just had to get the fuck out of here. Okay, then had to just get. And I drug her the fuck out of here. Because I'm the king of this castle. Escorted the fuck out of here. That's what's going to happen every... Oh, that's what he called it. Escorted? <laughs> and the lie detector test determines that is a lie. You did not escort her out of there. You drug her the fuck out of there. Huh. So I was going to let y'all know. And what's going to happen? So Shorty just had to get the fuck out of here, okay? Then had to just get escorted the fuck out of here. That's what's going to happen every time. So I oh, so you're going to drag her the fuck out every time, huh? Talking big, Mr. Tough Guy. Let y'all know. Um, sadly, this sadly. is going to negatively impact the kids, which I'm the only person ever thinking about that. The mother is never thinking about that. Right, because you're the one who keeps the kids 24-7. You're the one who makes sure they're fed every motherfucking day. You're the one who have to study for school while you got the kids. 
you're the one who have to call Golden and see if she will babysit the kids for one fucking hour out of the last couple of months while you go to school. Right. Golden the one to offer to get you a nanny because you always got the kids. Because you're the one who care about them. You care about them so much so that you got them running from air fucking B&B &B to Airbnb with somebody who clearly, according to your friend there, is not supposed to be a grown woman. Because if she act like a grown ass woman, she get beat the fuck down. Make this shit make sense, homie. Make this shit make sense. And, um, Troy has a restraining order now, and you're going to have one. Lies. Um, Lies. As I was saying, before somebody came in here and woke the fucking kids up, as y'all seen me put the fucking kids to sleep on this video, literally all this shit happened. Yeah, that's what we Summer ass bitches. Here we go. Because you're trying to set motherfuckers up. So, my thing is this. I, I see when somebody's trying to line me up, obviously. I didn't get this far dodging setups. I see when somebody's trying to set me up. This is why niggas who are successful do not deal with ghetto ass, lower class ass. What he mean to say is this is why niggas who successful get them a white woman. Just say it, young Pharaoh. I don't know. Is it just me? But it seemed like young Pharaoh got him a white woman or, or some other uh, 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 ethnic background woman. That he trying to bring out into the public eye, but he trying to he trying to create a narrative to explain why he's abandoned his whole fucking ideology that put him where he is today, and his so called beliefs, so that he can now sport the white woman or the Puerto Rican woman or whatever other type of ethnicity he's got. Come on now, peep game. Dodging setups. I see when somebody's trying to set me up. This is why niggas who are successful do not deal with ghetto ass, lower class ass broads. Y'all don't want to hear that. That's the truth. This is why nobody deal with them ratchet ass, motherfucking hot girl summer ass bitches. Okay, so you claiming that the, the that Golden and probably everybody else you ever dealt with is a lower class, ghetto ass, hot summer ass broad, right? Why you pick these type of women, young Pharaoh? Huh? If if what you saying is true, you picked them all. You picked them all, had babies with them, moved them in, doing all this other shit. Nigga, is, is your discernment off? What the fuck does that say about you, though, homeboy? Why you out here trying to down the mother of your children? You the one planted seeds. Not one, but two in her. So what does that say about you? If what you saying is true. As lower class ass broads. Y'all don't want to hear that. That's the truth. This is why nobody deal with them ratchet ass motherfucking hot girl summer ass bitches. This is why nobody deal with y'all. Because y'all are kamikaze. Y'all are, y'all have suicide energy. That's what I call it. Suicide energy. I don't have suicide energy. I have love, peace, and happiness. Don't fucking bother me energy. A lot of y'all females have set a nigga up energy. Now, now, peep game. Everything, see, what I gather from Golden, she's got love, peace, and don't fucking bother me kind of energy. She wasn't always trying to be in front of the motherfucking screen and shit. She don't throw off hot girl, hot summer vibes, but you know who do? Do you know who do? This nigga right here. This nigga. Call it suicide energy. I don't have suicide energy. I have love, peace, and happiness. Don't fucking bother me, energy. Golden. A lot of y'all females have set a nigga up, energy. Control a nigga, energy. Uh, manipulate a nigga, energy. That's him. And when that don't work, send a nigga to jail, energy. None of that shit is gonna work on me. I'm gonna continue to, to my bad. I'm gonna continue to, to uh, do what I do. It's just gonna be more, more borders and more walls put up as I go to always protect myself. Period. But I want. And that's how Golden about to be. That's not gonna stop Golden Shine. You feel what I'm saying? She's just going to put more barriers up between him and her. Even if he wants to see the kids now. It's not going to be easy like talking about it. Stupid. Read y'all this shit, right? So y'all can see the one hot. Call me crazy. Call me people. Name. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You are not coming in here. 
Hold on. So, I told her. She's calling people names that we're not going to repeat. So, I think she called the white nanny a cracker. So, I told her. You're, I said, your energy is hostile and nasty. You are not coming in here. Okay, so this takes us back to the beginning of part one, Peep Game episode YP part one, which showed where he was talking about Louis Farrakhan and how uh, uh, he kicked out Kali because Kali was talking about white people. But that was Kali, Kali was part of the platform. And so in the same way, you see him doing this shit with Goldie. I'm not. You can get it later. In regards to whatever the fuck she's talking about for class. Wish she could have been got her shit. She purposely keep leaving her shit over here so she can have an excuse to keep coming the fuck. Bullshit. Bullshit. She still got her shit over there because she don't have a fucking stable place. Dummy. You got her running from piddle to fucking post. Dummy. So yeah. She still got her shit over there. Over here. When I been told her to get her shit months ago. Now, continuing on, uh, she, she tried to say my house literally looks crazy right now. That's not true. There's five people over here. My house does not look crazy. But continuing on, right? Now, here's, the, here's where it goes left. She said, you're mad because you had to watch your kids. LOL, you're ridiculous. Stop trying to cover up for the fact that you got a bitch in your house around my kids and I told you not to. I'm getting stuff and that's it. I said, no, you're not. She said, that bitch better not be around my kids. I'm dead ass not playing with you. Okay. All right. That's how regulated this shit was. Good energy. Tattoos all the fuck up. And you're wild and causing a scene. So my thing is this. We're going to end like this. Just so people know from here on out, I'm going to continue to do me. I'm going to continue to grind. Because that is what the fuck I do. And I'm going to continue to, to be on my spiritual journey because that's what the fuck I'm on. And I've been on it. It's something I love to be on. But what we're, but what we're going to do is we're going to teach as we go, as we always go. I mean, as we always do. So I want... You know what, y'all? I'm really starting to wonder what's the fucking point of this spiritual journey shit. All these niggas how about they on the motherfucking spiritual journey. But bitch, where is you going? Bitch, where is you going? Huh? People to act to raise the question, how many women are around the world doing this shit? How many women are around the world getting with men and then trying to sabotage the man because they can't control or manipulate the man? How many women And how many niggas around the world is manipulating a whole motherfucking mass of people sucking in all their motherfucking money so they can live a lavish lifestyle while they pretend that they on some so called spiritual journey while fucking over their old lady or their old man? Huh? Huh? How many niggas we know doing that shit? I don't know. You know, shit. Let me see. Polite, motherfucking Yada, Nature Boy, Umar Johnson, shit. I, I know there's more uh, fucking uh, Yark. What the fuck his name is? Uh, shit, the list goes on, bro. Women is getting with niggas and then trying to sabotage their character or destroy their character because they're lying. You can't be, you can't, niggas do got bodyguards and shit. So my thing is, this is, this is why the world is fucked up. Cause you got people out here causing chaos cause they can't control their emotions. And trying to frame other people or throw other people under the bus for the shit they doing. No, I'm going to tell you why the world is fucked up. Because there's no morals, there's no values, there's no integrity, there's no boundaries anymore. There's no real motherfucking love. There's no real wisdom, no fucking real spirituality. All these niggas on a fucking spiritual journey, where is you going? No real spirituality. You want to pile up all this fucking knowledge. Knowledge is not wisdom. They are not the fucking same. Knowledge is not understanding. It is not the same. Where's the understanding? Where's the patience? Where's the humility? You see what I'm saying? So, let, let, let me just... This is how I see the shit. Feel free to have whatever opinion you want. But my opinion of this is, is how you throw away real fundamental spirituality and truths, which consist of love thy neighbor. Huh? Do unto others as you'd have them do unto you type shit. Huh? 
Blessed are the peacemakers. Hmm? What happened to that shit? For this. For this. What is Osiris getting this nigga? Got a big ass Mayotte tattoo on. What? Where is that getting you, dog? I don't know, bro. Mm. You got parents out here not watching their kids. Their kids is out here doing this, that, and the third with other motherfuckers that they don't know. And, and right. And on his arm. I have to survive around that motherfucker. That person is in control of my life. That person is in control. I don't want to hear this rhetoric. <laughs> anymore i'm sorry i don't okay yeah let's hear this shit oh yeah just watch that one sorry you guys put that on whoever you see whoever is dead or whatever the case may be you can not honestly do that and you might can because oh, you really oh, oh. look in your partner's phone and you see hundreds of women and the women who are watching this video if you're bold enough Damn, she said young Pharaoh is just an actor. He's a great teacher, but he's an actor. Hold on, hold on. Let me rewind this shit. I that I have a lot going to do. But since he likes younger women that he thinks he can mold, I have treated this man. That shit sounds like some nature boy shit. I like them young where I can mold them, where they're going to be submissive. I suppose a lot of people are doing some of the same shit that he does behind the scenes. <gasps> What? No. What did you say? I haven't seen this for years. This person to convince me that my feelings were wrong to have. And their feelings and their action was okay when they were completely dead ass wrong. Period. This person has been very manipulative in front of the camera and behind the scenes for years. This person has... The lie detector test has determined that that shit is the truth. Expose a lot of people for doing some of the same shit that he does behind the scenes. Uh, I am not going to... Yo, she said young Pharaoh is does not practice what he preaches and behind the scenes he's doing he's doing things he's not supposed to do. He get on camera, put on another face, get off camera, put on another face. Oh no. Take his route and expose him to the extent that I can. But so what she basically just said, I'm just going to tell y'all a little something. But I really know enough about this nigga to, to, to bring the whole kingdom down. I'm I'm not going to do it to him, though. I will spare him. Which is something he's clearly not willing to do for her. If I wanted to, I wanted to drop these recordings. And y'all be thinking I'm lying. If I were to really expose what the fuck goes on behind the scene, I'm not saying that he isn't a, a Look how she said, what the fuck? Notice the intonation that she used. That means it's a lot of shit that you do not know. A teacher, he's a good teacher. He just doesn't follow his own teachings. And the lie detector test determined that that is the truth. And that's just that. Um, I'm not going to do too much on this video, but I am going to say what I have to say uh, regarding the little comments that he made. Okay, let's start with my attitude. When he met me, I was 19 years old and he was 23 years old. He knew that I had a lot going to do, but since he likes younger women that he thinks he can mold, I have treated this man with nothing but respect despite everything that he has done until I reached a point in our relationship where I had nothing to respect. I no longer respected him. Um, you know, I was trying my best to see the light in him. I was trying my best to believe in him and, you know, just as a woman thinking that 
I can help this person grow. And I did definitely help this person grow. I held her back. So give me my credit. Um, I helped this person grow. Um, just thinking I can fix, help, you know, help this person in certain ways, and have mistakes and all the other stuff. After a while, I did gain some sort of attitude because I was getting violated behind the scenes. And then a person would come on the internet and act like they're this wonderful husband and spouse and whatever the case may be. After a while, that irritates you. That irritates to you when you look in your partner's phone and you see hundreds of women and the women who are watching this video if you're bold enough damn she said young pharaoh is this an actor he's a great teacher but he's an actor not only that but she just basically said that she was getting straight up violated behind the scenes and she was not allowed to have no feelings about being violated now who does that sound like hmm? pop quiz who the fuck acts like that? That we know. Hmm? That you, that, 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 that they want to be able to fuck all over you, but you got to be a robot. You can't feel no type of way about that shit. They want to be able to fuck with who they want to fuck with, but you can't feel no type of way about that shit. Because if you do, now you're not being supportive. You're not being loyal. You're not seeing my vision and shit. But the black woman was supposedly God. Okay. He violated me over and over and over again. He violated me over and over again. So many women in his DM. Women after women after women in his DM. Over and over again. He now, now, I know a lot of y'all going to say, well, young Pharaoh said that he was polygamous, so it shouldn't be a problem that he had a hundred fucking women in his motherfucking DM. That's not how polygamy works. And that's why I say this polygamy shit that these niggas is peddling these days is a motherfucking knockoff, nigga. Just, just, just stop it. Stop it. This polygamy shit is just a way that niggas think they can have a cake and eat it too and push it off as some fucking righteous shit. And it ain't. It ain't. It's sexual deviance is what the fuck it is. It's no type of it's no type of self-control. It's a way for a nigga to get his rocks off and for you, the woman, to be okay with the shit. Now that's not to say that there aren't polygamous relationships that are done right. That's just to say I haven't seen it yet. All the examples that I've seen in the so-called conscious community, which ain't conscious at all, is actually just niggas. Basically just trying to fuck a bunch of bitches. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Let's get Knows it. the truth. So many women in this DM. Over and over and over again. Ooh, I told y'all. They him and nature boy. I told y'all, man. And can admit that, yes, he has been in my inbox for the past five years. <laughs> Or he has been in my inbox when you guys were together. Or I came to his house when you were gone visiting family. Um, if you were to do that, that would be great. Everybody is talking about, oh, you knew he is polygamous. Why try to change somebody? Or why wish death on somebody just because he's polygamous? That's not what happened. Polygamy is not the problem in our relationship um, at all. I agree to polygamy from day one. Um, me and him were on the same page. The problem I have with polygamy is he did not do things correctly. And he knows that. And you know that. You cannot get on this camera, put that on your life, put that on your kids' life, put that on whoever you see, whoever is dead or whatever the case may be. You cannot honestly do that. And he might can because... He really be convincing himself he does not, nothing wrong. But you cannot honestly say you never cheated. There has not been a time where he was not cheating. There has not been. She said that boy cheated every time. Young Pharaoh always cheated. Damn, Young Pharaoh! Young Pharaoh! No! Oh, Auntie in the building. Get the lights up, get the lights up. And whoever he's talking to now, 
I'm pretty sure you've heard this um, before. And that's how it's supposed to be. Um, now, when I gave him that option to do that, a real man would be appreciative of that. A real man would, you know, um, be okay with that. And But instead of doing so, he still was doing dirt behind my back with women he wouldn't even wife. And he has said this on his mom. I'm sorry. I just can't help but notice and it, it, it's just I haven't even been listening for the last probably two minutes now because I'm paying attention to the H the O and sometimes the M behind her head here okay and it just seems to me no coincidence that she's talking about this uh, uh, Pharaoh's sexual perversions and all I keep seeing is ho back there now so I'm asking myself I'm thinking to myself okay self is that meaning that she's a hoe and and but that's not that's not the vibe i'm getting here the vibe i'm getting at is that even the wall is testifying to what she's saying about young pharaoh that he's simply wanting to be a hoe like that's the problem in their relationship the nigga is a hoe i didn't say that shit the wall said that shit okay so don't blame me um. And if you think I'm lying, here we go, here we go, <clears throat> here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, all different women. Oh, what happened? Here we go, here we go. Oh, no, don't tell me. And I want you to notice that she the one got the baby crying in the background when she do videos, not him. Let me see if they was able to get the rest of it. No, I think she took it off after that. All right, moving on. I don't allow people to see people for who they truly are and to honestly just make a fool out of themselves and give them a rope and watch them hang themselves, pretty much. But, yeah, so... The picture that people are trying to create is just simply, it's just false. And if you believe it, then that's on you to believe whatever I don't mind. And I know there's people that are going to believe, especially groupie-ass people who just want to be groupies. Um, but mm, I'm not playing these games anymore. I'm sending my name for, um, from a person who supposedly cares and loves me so much, um, more than anyone Wait a minute. does. Did, did, did yeah. she talk about, I think this was the one Put that on. where she was saying that, I don't know if I've seen, if I, I was probably paying attention to the, the HO in the background, but th on this video, somewhere in this video is the one where she said the problem she was having with young Pharaoh, it probably was, uh, at the end of this video where it was clipped off, but. The problem she was having with young Pharaoh and this so-called polygamy, which wasn't polygamy at all, is that he would bring random bitches over there and just raw dog them. And she was telling him that, you know, if you're going to just raw dog these hoes, then at least wear a condom. But he out here just raw dogging. Raw dogging. I don't allow people to see people who they truly are and to honestly just make a fool out of themselves and give them a rope and watch them hang themselves pretty much <sighs> but people who are aware of how manipulation works and is aware of how nar narcissism works sees through what needs to be seen through um I'm done with being um overly defending myself and I don't need to if you believe what you believe because what someone says um which doesn't even add up or make sense then you can definitely go ahead and do so or change or evolving but I do mind when you're masking your behavior that is a low vibrational behavior and trying to say you're evolving or 
trying to say that you are um, changing for the better when you're not and you're moving sloppy and you're moving just nasty. I That's what I don't agree with. And if you're going to tell or say something, then say it. Um, say what's really up. I want everybody to know that these past, well, this past month, I have been bouncing from Airbnb to Airbnb, um, waiting for my apartment or townhouse or whatever it is to get done. Um, while, you know, other people just live their best lives, kid free, um, free of responsibilities besides sending money every once in a while. And while people are in and out of our home, while me and my kids are just roaming through a, a state that we barely know, you know? Luckily, I have had a beautiful friend here supporting me uh, during this journey and during this process. You know, I've been holding my own. I've been holding myself down. I've been holding my kids down. Um, I have had my moments of breakdown. I have my moments of feeling so just not mentally and emotionally in the best place. Uh, and I still persevered through that. And, you know, I've just been holding myself down and healing. I've been healing, y'all. Like when I say I've been healing, I've been healing. Like I, even, even this, I'm taking this so much better than I would before. Yeah, and I'm proud of you. I understand how you feel. Even though, you know, I have the free will to do whatever I want to, I understand that you got hurt in the process. I understand that that's, that was kind of grimy for me to do. I understand that, like, people, it kills them to take accountability for their actions. It kills them to simply show an ounce of sympathy for something that they cause. Like, like why is that hard? I don't, I don't get that. I don't purposely try to destroy people. Um, I choose not to because my love is genuine. My heart is genuine. Um, and I'm just a genuine, solid person. And that's not something that I would honestly do, no matter what or how hurt I am. Or yeah, but clearly, there's always a... Uh... Oh, yeah, this this another one I want to show y'all. King shit over here. King vibes. This, like a, this supposedly like a week after uh, Golden Beauty, you know, left the house or whatever. Some other bitch he was fucking with. And according to Golden Beauty... I seen the video Golden Beauty did that said um, that whoever this person was that did this, it was somebody that he was talking to, and apparently she beat the he he beat the brakes off that girl while everybody watched. That won't get me on my character. I'm not I'm not about to be stooping to no stooping to nobody level. You feel me? But what people need to realize is leveling up is a thing. Becoming greater is a thing. Psychological and, and, and physical development. Well, mad at something at one o'clock at eight o'clock, you're not even gonna be mad about it no more. And jeopardize motherfuckers that's doing doing it to to your day ones and motherfuckers you've been fucking with from day one. They do some grimy shit or they do some envious shit or they do some low shit like that. Blah blah. I don't live on that, don't live on that frequency, man. Hold I don't on. like the. I, I might have passed ain't it nowhere up. with that. We can't even do business with each other. We can't even support each other. I mean, I ain't gonna. I mean, I ain't gonna. I ain't going to, uh, I ain't going to blast or, or shoot at nobody, but I'm going to say Golden Beauty didn't do this. The person who did this, did, did, did uh, whatchamacallit, did this, you feel me? But it wasn't Golden. So, let me show y'all something. Look at my motherfucking, look at my motherfucking Fred. I mean, my motherfucking oven. You see this? You see this? Now, this happened last night. I got me and my motherfucking oven. You see this? You see this? Now, this. You see this? Now this happened last night. I got somebody on their way right now as we speak to fix that. Cool. We gonna we gonna walk through that. So my question is, who picking these women, bro? Why is these bitches trying to destroy your shit? And I use the term bitches loosely, just to figure of speech. Why 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 is these females 
wanting to fuck up your stove and fuck up your statues and do all this. Who picking these? I mean, come on now. Either you picking the wrong type of young lady or you doing something. That's 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 causing these these women to emotionally uh uh break. Hmm? Right or wrong. And I heard you beat the brakes off of her motherfucking ass, that girl. Who who did that to the to your uh to your motherfucking oven. Hmm. Anyway. Let's go to this shit here. Submissive, combative, smart mouth ass child. Excuse my eye. Let me, let me, let me say this right. If you go, okay, on her, on her YouTube before she delete any video, you feel me? Before she delete any video, go watch any prank that she's done and look at the way I respond to shit. You feel me? Now, I have not. I put this on my kids, on my dead homie mix. I have not watched any of her kind. Notice how this nigga is peep game, peep game. Notice how he, he moving around the house. Now, this is something that we are not used to seeing young Pharaoh do. So, why is this important, like young Pharaoh say? Because I want you to understand how this nigga is flashy. Very flashy. He wants everyone to see the stairs. He wants everyone to see the little chandelier hanging. He wants everyone to see how nice his house is. He's very proud of himself. Now, he didn't do that when he was in the apartment. Of course not. You know what I'm saying? But he gonna do it now because he flexing on them niggas. Because that's the shit you do when you're on a spiritual journey. You buy a whole bunch of... Now, I don't have no problem with nice shit. No, I don't. But do I somehow think that means something? Hell to the no. Nothing at all. Not in my book. I mean, again, feel free to have whatever opinion you want. But I just see it as him moving around because that's his way of flexing. Otherwise, he sit his motherfucking ass in front of that yellow screen that we're used to seeing him at. Which, which is way better than this shit here. And be the old young Pharaoh. Let's get it. And I truly do understand that she is trying to battle with me on the internet for views like most people do because they can't generate their own content. But now it's getting out of hand to the point where this is an everyday thing. I thought this shit would go away. I'm trying to ignore this shit, but this shit is not going away. You feel me? And then as you can see, okay, the same person that's trying to character assassinate me is messaging crazy shit to my secretary talking about I'm not going to see my kids get ready to turn my rights over for my kids. This guy in the third. Everything this nigga say is trying to 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 show everybody how much money you fucking got. But again, I ask this question: Where's the motherfucking daycare? Huh? 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 Where is the shit that you actually doing for the community? Yeah, I see you putting the money on you a personal secretary, a motherfucking cook, a butler, or probably a motherfucking uh chauffeur, a motherfucking chef, a bodyguard, a videographer. You know what I'm saying? A nanny. All this old extra ass shit. But where the fuck is the shit for the community? Mr. I'm carrying the community on my back. I see a whole bunch of shit you done got for you. But I don't see shit about the community. So thank you for letting us know that you got you got the bag. You just secured the bag. But why don't you show what you actually doing for the fucking community besides sitting online and saying shit and, and saying shit that, that really is Googleable. Again, you sound like motherfucking nature boy with that shit. Like you giving the community some shit they can't really get for them motherfucking selves. Yeah, if they lazy. Okay. I understand there's a lot of lazy motherfuckers out there that don't want to do any research for themselves. But let's, let's just stop with the bullshit. Like you are so fucking high value that the shit that you're doing for the community is high value, bro. Stop. Stop. So let me just get y'all the truth. This is the true total story from front to back about how my ex-relationship has went, right? I'm not here to talk about nobody's character or personally attack anybody or characters. I don't have to character assess. Which is exactly why he's here, is to, what do you say? When a nigga say, look, I'm not but here to. Story from front to back. Yeah, that's exactly what he's here for. About how my ex-relationship has went, right? I'm not here to talk about nobody's character or personally attack anybody or so he's here to talk about somebody's character and to personally attack somebody characters i don't have to character assassinate anybody but you will okay so let's just get all the way 
100 with it. Let me tell y'all the truth truth, okay? Let me tell y'all the truth truth. Notice how the screen got blurry right there, huh? You notice that? Did you peep that shit? How the screen got blurry? Yeah, because the truth truth is real motherfucking blurry, and the shit you about to say is not the truth, bro. So let's just get all the way 100 with it. Let me tell y'all the truth truth. When he say get all the way 100 and talk about it, let me tell y'all the truth, truth. The screen got blurry than the motherfucker because we not about to get all the way 100 and we not about to talk about the truth, truth. Okay? Let me tell y'all the truth, truth. And I'm going to be pacing back and forth as I walk so my energy flow. Let me tell y'all the truth, truth. Go. Since when do you have to pace back and forth for the energy to flow? See, is that new? And why is that? What's the difference now from then? You seem to do pretty good in that little chair in front of your little yellow banner all these years. She is lying, okay? She's lying. From what I'm hearing, she's lying. I don't even have to watch her videos to know that she's lying. Golden's issue is she is insecure. That's true. I loved her regardless, though, and still love her regardless. But she is very insecure. That's the truth. She does not like other females. She's told me I... So you didn't come here to assassinate nobody's character or attack nobody personally but that that's exactly what you're doing okay her mouth quote i don't really get along with other bitches she can't say that she don't talk like that because we know you talk like that we even i talk it, it is what it is it's not a kid but that's that's true now here's the thing when i first met Go not a character assassination but that's true okay right one time we went to a party in la and she stayed upstairs in the room the whole time while we was downstairs partying. Now, why is this important? Notice how he stopped right there. You see, you see that that look he got on his face. He realized something that he said, and he's going to try to correct himself. Watch this again. We went to a party in L.A. And she stayed upstairs in the room the whole time while we was downstairs partying. Now, why is this important? Watch. Stop, he thinking. Or socializing, I should say. Now, why is this important? She has <laughs> never been an in-the-crowd type of person, which is, that's cool. I never judged her for that. But my thing is, why? Which lets me know that she not out here trying to drag your motherfucking name so she could get clout. Because she never was in the crowd kind of person. She clearly never, in the crowd means you trying to get some fucking clout. That's literally in the spotlight, dog. And you're saying that she does never like being in the spotlight, never like being in the crowd. So you can't say that shit and then say she out here doing this shit for clout. You sitting here character assassinating me because you want to hang with somebody you can't hang with. It's just like niggas want to jump in the car and then go catch a body, but you want to snitch when, when, when niggas get knocked. You knew you wasn't a shooter anyway. So my thing with Golden is, you knew you were not a secure woman. You knew you didn't want to do poly anyway. So now he trying to tr trying to basically uh, uh, do reverse psychology and say, you're insecure, okay? It's not that I'm a hoe. It's not that I'm sloppy with my shit. It's not that I want to run through anything with a motherfucking hoe, okay? It's not the fact that I'm raw dogging these bitches and could come back and bring you some shit. You feel what I'm saying? No, that's not it. It's because you insecure. It's because you insecure and you really don't like polygamy, which isn't polygamy, by the way, Pharaoh. It's called whorism is what it is. It's called fast. It's called loose. Okay? That's what that is. It's perversion. You want to snitch when, when, when niggas get knocked. You knew you wasn't a shooter anyway. So my thing with Golden is, you knew you were not a secure woman. You knew you didn't want to do poly anyway. You should have never played that role. You feel me? Now, let me go all the way through the story, right? Because she capping. Now, I didn't see the video. Lies. told me that she talking about I call her young. Yeah, you seen the motherfucking video. Stop lying. I tried to manipulate her. Listen here, y'all. I don't have to manipulate nobody. Never did, never will. You feel me? I'm going to tell y'all straight. That's what y'all always say. But for some reason, y'all seem to be fucking manipulating people. Just like I tell any female, if you come over here, you have to listen because I know what the fuck I'm talking about. And if you want to be in my personal life, you have to listen because I need somebody that I can trust to pass generational wealth down to. Not an unsubmissive, combative, smart mouth ass, childish person. Now, let's... 
All right. So you want you want the same shit Nature Boy want. Got it. Okay. And then you want to talk about the pair passed down generational. What what this nigga say? I have to listen because I need somebody that I can trust to pass generational wealth down to. Not generational wealth down to. But this nigga has stated on multiple occasions that he didn't want them kids. He said that shit on video that he didn't want them kids. She wanted them kids. So you trying to pass generational wealth down to the kids that you didn't want. Right. So. Ain't that the point of polygamy is to, to make more kids so you could pass down the. Uh, OK. Uh, unsubmissive, combative, smart mouth ass, childish person. Now, let me let me get you all the story. When I first met Golden, right, I was talking to Yogini Maya. Shout out to Yogini Maya. Nothing told me right. not to tell her parents that I was into polygamy. All right. This now, is, this before I tell y'all why I told them anyway, okay? Hold on, yeah. That just goes to show you where the lie, who the liar is. This person told me not to tell her parents. I told her parents, not her. And her mother and her father will tell you that. Her mother and her father, will they better tell you that. I told them about my lifestyle and my beliefs. Not her. You feel me? I told her. She tried to hide it. Now, I told her, I said, listen, why? I told her, this on my dead homie Mix, on my dead homie Mix, on both my kids. I'm looking for something specific, y'all. Where is it at? It's one of these videos. I go home. I'm going to show, okay, that I have been trying to help these. There you go. I want to say this, though, before I... They sabotage your life if they can't control you. That's really true. And, 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 and no matter how much peace you provide... And I'm gonna I'm I'm put the receipts in this video. I was your friend. Now, why is this important? I'm not your enemy, son. I'm not trying to beef with you. What the fuck is your problem? What the fuck is y'all problem? Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's what I don't appreciate. When I'm gonna clear up in a second. When I go home from, from uh, what you gonna call it? Handling some business. I don't like when people get on the internet and try to lie and slander and character. Yo, listen, slander needs to become a crime, son. It can no longer become a civil thing. Really? Because if, if slander really became a crime, all the motherfuckers you didn't slander, nigga, you'd be under the motherfucking jail. Under the jail, okay? Treat me like a fucking a, a, a decent human being. And stop being so aggressive and masculine all the time. So oh, that shit. Black women are over masculine. That's some old nature boy shit. When a bitch wanna, when 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 a female wanna stand up for you, not just running all over her and trying to play king in the motherfucking castle and shit. Years ago. Now, why is that important? That's not. I don't have nothing to do with that. You got. You do you. You got niggas. What? Probably two years. And, I'm, and when I get home, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm put the receipts in this video. And it's the same offer that I'm making to Golden now. Even after we haven't been together all these months. Okay? Even after we ha even after we haven't been together. And this been on this offer been on the table since since January or February. Facts. Since February. Oh, yeah. It's something I'm trying to get too specific. To stay up three, four nights in a row trying to build simply out of what the fuck I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. And I'm not acting like I'm perfect. I'm not acting like I'm perfect. Yeah, you are. But skip the relationship. I wasn't uh, abusing them, beating on them. And I don't want to hear that. And I don't want to hear nobody talking about, Pharaoh, you was abusive or da 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 because if you want to be honest, y'all will fuck me right now. Let's be honest. You will Oh, so he said he don't want to hear nothing about Pharaoh, you was abusive because let's be honest, y'all would fuck me right now. If that's not, if that's not some, some motherfucking nature boy shit to say right there, bro, this is just sad. This is just sad. Now, why would they say, Pharaoh, you was abusing me? Why would you say they would say that if you weren't abusing them? 
But then you try to try to make up for the shit to say, let's be honest, but you still fuck me right now. Okay. Fuck me right now. Don't lie. Don't lie. I could call either. I will. I could pull up on either one of y'all right now if I want to, and, 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 and it could be all good. So let's be. Let's let's miss me with that. I don't want to hear nothing about no feral you abusive or da 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 or to get. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Pip game. Why would they say that? Hmm. That's exactly what the fuck he's doing. He's trying to critique them and break them down as women. Because they're insecure and they're afraid of success. It's not the fact that he can't fucking do right. He can't treat them with basic fucking respect. Hmm? It ain't that he don't want them to have a voice or an opinion about the shit that he do. Huh? Destroy y'all. All I'm saying is, deal with me like a decent human being. Treat me with some fucking respect, huh? Stop talking to me like I'm just a nigga on the street. Stop saying crazy shit to me every chance. See, he don't want to be treated like a regular nigga. He wants to be treated like a king. Like a god. Yeah, because I don't do that. Because that's how fights start. You can't be doing, you out here acting crazy. Right. You're not moving right. I can't move with that. What do you want me to do? And then you're throwing dirt on my name out here. Why? As, as hard as this is, I'm putting it on the internet. Why? Because I have to protect my fucking character. I have to protect my... Okay, so when you say that you wasn't the one putting the shit on the internet, I don't want to hear that shit. That's a motherfucking lie. You put the shit on the internet because you're trying to protect your character. Come on, man. All this double talking and shit. Business in my brain. And, and the way I feed my kids and my children's future. And I'm not going to let no emotionally erratic ass, lying, vindictive ass motherfuckers uh, take my character or, or sabotage... What I'm trying to do for my kids. Right, so you put it on the internet. I'm willing to take you from lower class directly to upper class off the love. Not for control. I don't want to control you. I don't... Right. No. Do they really give a fuck about you outside of, oh, you're a young girl's baby mom, so I think I'm getting some points or trying to get some pussy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. For you except trying to get some pussy. No. No. Multiple niggas. Multiple niggas. Have I ever judged you for that? No. Did I ever look down on you for that? No. Did I ever dog you for that? No. 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 Is any of them niggas doing anything for you right now? No. Is any of them niggas doing anything for you except trying to get some pussy? No. No. I'm not even trying to get no pussy. Mm, I said I'm denying some pussy, but I'm not even trying to get no pussy. I'm trying to legitimately help you, but you want to attack me and dog me. Same thing for Golden. Is any of the niggas that you talk to, can you call them for anything? No. No. Do they really give a fuck about you outside of, oh, you're a young girl's baby mom, so I think I'm getting some points or trying to get some pussy? No. Okay. L listen to that statement. Do they care anything about you besides the fact that you're a young Pharaoh's baby mom? So I'm trying to get some points. So this nigga genuinely believed that nobody wants to fuck with Golden or his other baby mama outside of the point, outside of the fact that they, they are attached to him some kind of way. I think that's ideas of grandiose, sir. I think that's where you wrong at, my nigga. What kind of shit is that to say? As if Golden don't have no type of fucking value outside the fact that she's your baby mama. Nigga, wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up, dog. Talk to, can you call them for anything? No. And you don't even fucking know that unless you in the girl back pocket all the motherfucking time. No. Do they really give a fuck about you outside of, oh, you're a young girl's baby mom, so I think I'm getting some points or trying to get some pussy? No. No. But I'm legitimately trying to help you. I'm legitimately trying to help make sure you have a better life and you want to attack me and make me an enemy. Why? Grow the fuck up. That's it. Grow the fuck up. Cool. Just constantly, verbally, and mentally abuse you for years. You don't got nothing for it. 